The respondents described the death of some persons in the Nigeria Immigration Service recruitment exercise as most unfortunate, saying that the stampede at the various recruitment centers indicates high rates of unemployment facing the nation. The reasons that ways should be fashioned to address the menace of unemployment, which according to them will foster such future occurrence. Young job seekers who are Nigerians and are entitled to dignity of human person, being treated like common uh, Fulani cattle led to the slaughter slab with little regard for their personal comfort and respect to their human person. I think they believe this, this, assembled, this assembly of Nigeria you seeking jobs were posing a serious threat to their ghost worker syndrome. What you have seen is a reflection of the many that you have not seen that there is great poverty in our land. This, I think our leaders need to change and our economy need to look into the area of uh, unemployment. And if this is taken care of, then you know that the idea of insecurity, Boko Haram, whatever, would have been a thing of the past. The respondents condemned the method used by the Nigeria Immigration Service in the conduct of the recruitment exercise, which they say is noticeable in most recruitment exercises across the country. It is on record that Nigerian establishment, government establishment, are 90 percent run by ghost workers and 10 percent real human person workers. So I feel they were trying to send a signal that Nigerians should stop seeking for jobs which are reserved for ghost workers. When advertising for a job, though you can never say this is the number that we have to, first of all, they have to be in an internal control to trim down the number of, uh, of applicants before taking them into such an exercise that led to the death. When contacted, a top official of the Immigration Service in Benin, who spoke on the condition of anonymity, regretted the situation and assured that necessary machinery will be put in place to forestall any future occurrence. Wellington Akodeja reporting.